Now let's examine about querying data from the PyData archive. To this end, there are two methods of querying data from the PyData archive. One being the so-called snapshot value and the other being the archive values. As we learned from an earlier section, the Py interface performs the operation called exception to remove noise from the data source and then passes it on to the Py data archive snapshot table. So querying for the current value gives all the values from the snapshot table as and when new data is coming in from the Py interface. Then once the data comes into the snapshot table, another operation called compression is performed in order to remove unnecessary data points being archived, but still retaining the data curve. Thus, querying for time series data gives all the data from the archive for the specified time range. Now let's address on how to query the so-called snapshot or current value. To do this, first go to the machine named PySRV1, which is our PyData archive server. Then go to Start, All Programs, Py System, and open up the utility called Py System Management Tools. Once you have the OV utility opened up, go to Data and click on Current Values. Then once you are there, click on the Tag Search. This should open up the Tag Search utility. Note that by default, the search is set to return all tags. Fields are all populated with asterisk, which is the wildcard for multiple characters. In this utility, you can narrow down your search using multiple tag attributes. For example, you can refine it by tag mask, point source, descriptors, to name a few. These attributes will be discussed in later videos when we are creating PyTags. With these defaults, click on search. This should search your PyData archive for all the set of tags. Select a few that you are interested by highlighting them and click on OK. And finally, click on the updating button. Note that the values that you are seeing are from the snapshot table, which are now passed through exception on the interface node. It is also good to note that going forward, that these snapshot values may or may not be archived depending upon if they pass compression test or not. If you allow that time to pass, you will see the values changing. 